here you see that when a person is going to register in this system he is immediately going as a logged in user and he is taken to the dashboard but there is a email verification system here so that you can just go to verify your email first as a user before logged in but by default in the breeze that is not set up that means that is just uh, make as disabled so i am going to enable it now okay so in order to enable that system i am going to show you in the users table you see there is no email verified at here you see there is a email verified at field but uh, this user is not actually verified i am going to delete this user again okay now if i go to register in this system then what will be happen so let's check it here before going you already know if i now give name email password confirm password click on register then user will be registered that will come here in this table and the user will be logged in that you already have seen in the last video now i am going to do something that is i am now going into the into a file that is you see there is a model so where is my model app then there is models and user model in the user model in the top you see this line is uh, co commented so i am going to uncomment this line that means like this and here you see class user extends authenticable but here you see must verify email this one i am going to copy and here i will just uh, apply it like implements so here implements then must verified email if you just uncomment it and then apply this line then email activation system has been applied now you can easily uh, test the work uh, for example here i am going now here user email is user at the top gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight so like this if i click on register now what will be happened you see uh, the mail socket is not found okay it is registered by but email problem so i am again going to delete why the email problem comes because i did not set up any email settings in here so here in the dot env file i am going and here you see the mail mailer smtp information are given here so i am going to set up it in order to set up uh, in the basic series you already have seen how to send the email and there i have shown you how to create mail account and how to get the information from there and use in your system so if you do not understand just go back to my fundamental videos and there is a section by the sending email and you will understand everything from there so from the mail trap this is uh, my test mail trap account and here in order to show the credentials i am going to click here this is my host i am going to copy and in my dot env file where there is a mail host here i am going to paste it port is for example 587 here from address contact at the rate of example dot com encryption tls and username and password are two important things i will need it from here username and from here i am going to put another one that is password so copy that from there and paste it here so my mail setup is done so when a person will send me email then it will come actually here so the email will actually come from here because i am going to give here as a i am going to register here as a new user and this is user email is this password is for example password password so click on register you will see the email is going to be sent so it is uh, holding you for some times okay the email is sent you see there is a message thanks for signing up before getting started could you verify your email address so it is actually telling you to verify the email address if you now go to log in into this account you will not be able to do that you can go log out from here try to log in uh, by the new newly uh, created user for example the user is here but this user is actually not verified if a user is verified there must be an entry here that is email verified at but uh, now he is not verified so if you want to try to log in here using this on 
if you try to log in you will be taken to the verify email page you will not be able to see the dashboard okay so if you try to see the dashboard it is not possible if you try to go to the login now you cannot do that so how you can uh, verify the email in order to verify the email just go to the mail tab you will say the user is going to receive an email address that is verify email address and here if you click here you will see that this is actually the email address it uh, comes here so verify email address if you now go to click here to verify the email address uh, that is verify email address the email is be verified now for example this one you see the email is verified and you are now taken to the dashboard if i now want to try to hit this url verify email enter you will not be able to see this because it is going to take you to the dashboard so user dashboard is working now perfectly here so email is verified how i can see this in the users if i click here you will see now see that the email verified at this field is not empty now that means the email is verified so an entry is given here that is in the date and time when the email was verified will be here and so user is able to log in in this system so this is uh, the login and logout system working with the email verification but there is another one in the case of login in order to activate the email you will see that there is a forget password option if you try to forget for example i do not remember my password so i am going to give here my email but before going there you will see in my database there is another table that is password reset tokens if i go here you see there is no entry but when i am going to uh, apply the forget password system for example i forget the password so i want to reset it so give your email address here click on here email password reset link then you will see the another email will be sent to your email address with the link we have emailed your password reset link if i go to the email now the user is the email person so it is coming to the user at the gmail.com if you put your email address here gmail or any other email address then the email will be go in that address so i am going to open this newly arrived email and here you will see that there is a reset password button here this password reset link will expire in 60 minutes so when uh, you have requested the reset password from now after the 60 minutes this link will uh, not work that means it will be expired but what has been happened if i go to this table now password reset tokens you will see a new entry comes here that is the email address this that means this user has been requested for the email uh, for the password request now uh, for the password reset right so here a token is also here that token is actually um the main token has been actually um yeah, use the hash technique or use an encryption technique and so the main token is not saved here it is just encrypted and uh, saved into the uh, password reset tokens here in this table so i am now going to my mail trap and if i go to click on reset password what is happening you see a new page comes that is reset password and then this is actually the token and question email equal to the user email address is showing here the token you see that that is not actually saved there because that is encrypted and saved into the database table so now what will be happened if you reset the password if i now go to reset the password i am going to copy this link because i i will check if this links will work anymore after that you see here is a password i am going to give the password so i am going to reset it right so reset you see password has been reset it takes me back to the login and now if i want to again go to that page previous page reset uh, you see that is here because the reset password is actually here this one but though the form comes here but if now you want to reset it for example uh, so if i want to reset this one click on reset you see it is not possible right the password reset token is invalid showing now so the form come but this will not actually work anymore because the reset token is invalid because i have removed the table row from here because as the password is reset and it is actually changed to my main table that is users table here this password is changed so actually i do not need to have any entry in the temporary table so i remove that and as i remove that so it is not possible actually to work with this form so this is the main logic behind it 
and if you go to the forget password okay i am going back here um in this place so you see when i do anything for example when i go to click on the forget password you see forgot your password this type of blade file is where actually when the authentication bridge authentication was set up then what actually happened when you install the bridge authentication then some codes were automatically added here in your system that is for example the request here in the request the auth folder comes and this is the login request you see the login request attempt etc comes here the profile update request is here that means if you want to update your profile information if i if you go to the dashboard you will see that here i am going to log in and user when you log in then you will see that in the dashboard if you are, you are able to show your profile that is profile information update password etc so here um, that type of uh, request that is needed that is given into the http and there is another folder auth this is very important folder and here you can do a lot of things so in the uh, auth auth folder here these files are automatically comes you see the verify email controller is this in order to verify your email this one works with the user registration in the case of user registration uh, this is the registered user controller uh, this is given this is you see the validate if you want to validate for example if you want to log out and if i go to the register how you i can validate the form if i do not give anything here then give something then this is actually the html verification uh, but if i want to remove the html verification uh, html validation for example um, the actually i am going to the resources and the views here you see also there are some items added that is the profile profile partial edit this is actually the interface for the partial and in the partial you will see uh, the update profile information update password these all things are coming actually um, into the edit that means when this file calls you see in the top there is a profile what is profile means profile means when you are going to log in for example i am going to show you when i am going to log in like this when i am going to log in here and then i am going to profile you see this is the profile and there is total three parts one is profile information another part is update password another one is delete account so total three partials are given here this is delete account that means delete user and the interface that is coming here that is actually this interface delete account delete account etc that is coming here this is the button cancel delete account okay and another partial is here update profile this is the update profile information that means um, this this one and here is the save button and another one is update password you see update password this is another blade file so total three partials are going to be added into the edit.blade.php here so all the things are given here right so this is in short the system and now i am going to register you see that in the registration page there were actually the required field if i want to remove the record from here then you will understand the verification system okay now if i go to the registration i am going back and register and if i click on register you see there is a red color message the name field is required the email field is required how it is showing it is showing because in the no, verify email controller not here in the controller there is a registered user controller if i go you see there is a validation system here so this error is showing using this one where using this one it is showing the information here and where is the blade the blade file is here you see so this is the blade file and this is the registered user controller main controller so in this way you will be understand to see anything from here this is the verify email you see that thank you for signing up before uh, getting started could you please verify your email address clicking on the link so this was the, actually the message when i uh, start to register a new user here then i click on register then actually it comes where it comes into an intermediate place you know there was a link what is what was the link that was verify email right so there was a link like this but it will not work now but in that link actually the verify email how it works it actually uh, are working uh, using this page this is the uh, main view page or the blade file where it comes here 
and confirm password forget password each set of blade files are given here so you will be able to see all the blade files that it's showing that means the hot message you show in front of you all are coming using the blade file that is come um, into the auth folder so you'll be able to see everything from here i am going on to do another thing that is you see when i am going to logged out if you want you can log um, you can uh, come the user to the login page for example when i am logged in uh, i am logged in here i am logged in here but if you see when i logged out it is taking me to the index page but if you want you can uh, put the user to the login page so in that case authentication authenticated session controller i am going here and here you see there is a destroy function that means when log out so destroy function is working here log out auth guard web log out the default guard for the user stable is actually web so i will show you this when i will set up the multi guard um, but for now uh, see that when the logout has been happened then it is taking me uh, to the redirect the root main route right so here i can just put here login because i want to redirect the user to the login page now let's check what is happened after the logout i am going to put the email user and password here i am logged in now if i go to logout you will see that it is taking me to the login page so in this way you can uh, edit the core coding here that oil that is given here right so in this way you can change the coding here and here another important thing i will show you see there are some changes in the routes and in the web.php and in the web.php automatically this is actually the default route when you will install the laravel but these other routes are coming actually after installing the breeze when you will install the breeze this is the user dashboard but you see there is a middleware so if the auth and verified middleware does not work then you will not be able to see the dashboard so auth middleware means by default the guard is web guard and the middleware is auth middleware and when the auth middleware is passed that means the user is logged in he will be able to see the dashboard otherwise he will not be able to see these pages and other cases here also given this is also the part of auth middleware you see and under this middleware i put all the routes here that means they are giving these routes so here is the profile route get patch delete all the routes are given here and some other um, middleware uh, some other uh, routes are uh, defined into the auth.php you see there is auth.php in the auth.php you see authenticate session controller confirm password controller etc controller given here in the top added and all are this this is guest guest means anyone can see the pages so when i am going to see uh, from the login you see without login i can see the page so this is actually the guest page so that is given here the middleware is a guest middleware that means without login any person will be able to see the contents of this page so what are the pages that is the register page login page forget password page reset password page these are the open pages user can see it and some other middleware are auth middleware that means this middleware you will be able to see only after the login when you will give your username and password then this middleware will work for example the you know, for example the you know, profile or verify email uh, or confirm password logout etc will actually work when you are in the logged in uh, state 